Hello, and welcome to Mrs. Bell Sweet Treats and more. And today again is going to be an and more. I want you to see here, I'm going to be making a, a, a Italian sausage bean soup and I'm using Great Northern Beans. I had a few cans left over. I welcome you to Mrs. Bell Sweet Treats uh, and more, which is where we are today. I welcome our new subscribers and our older subscribers and those of you um, who are boomers and traditionalists, those who are older, those who are younger, I welcome you. I try to cook and find the things that are easy to make and usually are in the cabinet. And so in my cabinet are, are certain things that may not be in yours, but I wanna show you uh, this, this wonderful soup. I had some Italian sausage left over from a spaghetti that I had made, spaghetti and lasagna I had made. And so I took those and I have them here and they come in a casing. And so I just, uh, with a knife and slowly, just cut it down the middle. You can do it your own way, but to remove that casing and it comes off pretty easily. So I'm going to begin uh, shortly. I wanted you to just see some of the ingredients. I have, it's gonna be really good. I have some spinach here, fresh spinach. I have my beans, I have tomatoes, and I got the tomatoes with some, with uh, basil, garlic, and or oregano. You can get regular tomatoes. You've got some tomatoes at home, just use those. And I'm going to put this together and I'll be right back after I wash my hands. So I have my pot here. I'm going to try to use one pot, but sometimes, you know, I end up with more than one pot. I'm going to be using just probably a tablespoon of uh, extra virgin olive oil, any brand. You can actually leave it out and, and spray the pan. The Italian sausage tends to... Uh, the sweet Italian sausage, and of course you can use, you can use a hot, I'm just one, I'm not just not a hot Italian sausage eater, but all the flavor is amazing. So I'm using this sweet and I'm taking it and I'm just going to break it up and put it into the pan. And then I'm going to use my fork to continue breaking it up. And uh, with the casing removed, it just makes it easier. And I'm just gonna cook it until it's brown and crumbly. And um, I'm gonna use the same pan to cook my onions and garlic. And I roasted a red pepper the other day, a couple of red peppers, and I love that flavor. So I also have those here and I've cut them up. So I'm gonna put this in here together and I'm gonna let it cook. I'm using three of the sausage links. You can use three or four, it is up to you. I absolutely enjoy the meat. I'm using, uh, I'm gonna be using two cans of the beans to go along with this, but you can use one, you can use two, you can use four, it's up to you. So I'll be back. Well, I'm back and I have my meat, I put it aside. And I still have my pan on. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add my onions and my peppers. It smells so good. And putting onions, uh, I don't know about you, but I really like sweet Italian sausage. They're so slippery. And as I mentioned, I roasted my a couple of red peppers and I'm gonna put those in here. You don't have to have peppers unless you uh, 
you want to, you can actually add the peppers that you want. I like red, I like green sometimes, but I really like red pepper. So I'm gonna saute these until soft. And then as you may see here, I have, I don't know if you can see that, there's my garlic. I'm gonna add that. And I'll be done. Well, I'm back and I am about to add my garlic. I'm going to reduce the temperature. I don't want my garlic to burn. And I'm going to continue stirring until it gets a little bit softer and gets that edge, that uh, garlic edge off because I want it to be mellow with my peppers. Well, I'm back, and I've got it nice. Now, I'm going to add my, I have vegetable broth, and I have chicken broth. I have some chicken broth left over. You can keep it all vegetable. You can make it a mixture. Um, it's up to you. So I'm just going to add this in. And what's so good about this, of course the stock is going to cool off the temperature of what's inside. But going to bring this to a boil and then I'll be back. I'm back and it's boiling, simmering. I'm going to add my tomatoes with the juice carefully. And I used what was on sale and they had, it had all these different, they had the basil, the garlic and oregano. Now I'm going to just stir this in and I'm going to add, of course, my secret ingredient. I've been using this. I remember when my second daughter was born and I found this recipe online uh, or in a book. I can't even remember. It's been a long time. But uh, the lady that uh, the cook used this secret ingredient and I didn't know this was a secret. I, I named it secret ingredient. Now, subsequently, I found other people that named it that way too. So we're all great, we're great amazing because we think along the lines of what this is. It is secret ingredient. <coughs> so I'm just gonna probably a couple teaspoons. And it has all these uh, herbs and spices in it. And because I am um, using the secret ingredient, it has salt in it, so I don't add any additional salt. So I'm gonna let this just get to boiling again, and then I'm going to add my beans. I want all these layers to, to mesh together so that I'm not tasting tomato, and then, oh, what is that other thing? Oh, that, I think it's bean. I want it to mesh together so that it can be, uh, so that the flavors are on every level. I will be back shortly. I'm back and I'm gonna add my meat. Oh. And now I'm gonna add 
There's so much I can see this. Mm. So I'm gonna add my beans. And let these go together. I don't add my spinach until this gets boiling. So I'm gonna give it about 15, 15 minutes to get to boiling. So while my uh, soup is cooking, I'm going to make some Parmesan crisps. And I just take the regular Parmesan and I put it on foil. Uh, and I spray it with a spray so that it doesn't stick. And then I pop it in the oven for just a few minutes till they crisp up. And I don't make uh, a lot of them. I'm just making enough for... Uh, now and later and sometimes I use these crisps on a sandwich so I've put my spinach in and I'm gonna let it wilt down spinach just doesn't want to get off you know and I just want to show you the crisps in the oven and they're starting to uh, Harden. I love that uh, crispy, crispy, crunchy, and it goes with the soup. So we'll be back in just a few minutes. Well, I'm back with our soup. Hope you can see it. I'm gonna switch this. You can thicken it if you'd like. I actually like it wet. You can get a nice heaping bowl. And then I'm gonna take one of my crisps. Mm. Mm. Everybody has flavor. Mm. Together we can do this. You have a good one. And I hope you get to enjoy this recipe. See you next week.